Today, 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 we are going to be adventurous. Today, 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 you are going to be courageous. So, warm up your hands. Double check your bag. Today, we are going to make you a better photographer, a better filmmaker by putting your camera in aperture mode. Today's adventure, we are traveling all the way across the PA Turnpike from New York back to Pittsburgh. What is aperture mode? Aperture mode is when you get to control the aperture of your camera. You control how much light is let into the camera. The camera is going to control the shutter speed. The camera is also going to control the ISO. You can put your camera in auto ISO or you can set the ISO before you start shooting. What makes aperture mode so powerful? Quick lesson on apertures. The bigger the number, F22, the smaller the hole. So when you shoot on an F22, it's going to let a very small amount of light in, thus creating a very wide depth of field, meaning a lot of the objects in your frame are going to be in focus. The smaller the number, F1.8, the bigger the hole. When you have a small number like a F1.8 or a F1.4, you're going to have a very shallow depth of field and just a small area is going to be in focus while the rest of the frame is going to be out of focus, which we know is called bokeh. The challenge with a small depth of field is that you really got to hold the camera still because you want to focus on one area, thus a tripod or a Joby works out exceptionally well. And that is how you create depth of field in your photographs. What makes aperture mode so powerful is that now you get to control the depth of field of every photograph or every bit of video or film that you shoot. You can now control what is in focus in your picture. When you shoot with like an f2.8 as I'm shooting now, I'm going to have a very shallow depth of field. Just a sliver of my frame is going to be in focus. But if I shoot at a larger aperture, now I put my camera on the f13 aperture. You'll probably notice now that I'm in focus, a lot more of the background is in focus. The joy of shooting in aperture mode is that you can tell your audience, this is where I want you to look. That's why it's powerful to shoot in aperture mode. demonstrate the power of aperture mode is to stop at a sheets and pick up some drinks and then find an old abandoned garage so we can show you how cool aperture mode really is. Haha! <sighs> With my aperture back to f2.8 and a shallow depth of field I found this really cool creepy looking gas station where we want to demonstrate the super awesome power in aperture mode. I got two drinks in my backpack. Here's what we're gonna do. With my Tamron 28 to 75 on my Sony A7C, I have put the F stop at 2.8, which is the shallowest depth of field it can have. Now I'm going to switch focuses outside. Notice how the ice tea becomes in focus, but the Gatorade is blurry. And then I can come back to the Gatorade. And now my Gatorade is in focus, but the ice tea is blurry. This is the power of having a shallow depth of field. 50-50 flavored lemonade. I didn't know they sold a product like this until today. After two hours of driving, I found another Sheets in Somerset, Pennsylvania. Time for a quesadilla and to learn another way that you can use your camera to help you visualize aperture mode and depth of field. Another great way to visualize the depth of field in aperture mode is to go into camera settings, page 13 out of 14, and turn on your peak settings. This way you can visualize the depth of field. 
In this example, you'll notice we're using the 50 millimeter Sony 1.8 lens and the aperture is on 1.8 and how shallow that depth of field is. As we begin to increase the aperture, right, making the depth of field wider and wider, notice how now there's a lot more red. And then by the time we get to F22, pretty much the whole picture is in focus. Using the peak settings on your Sony a7C will help you visualize your depth of field when you are in aperture mode. It is time to say goodbye to Somerset. Next stop, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. made it to the last sheets of the day. I am not going in, but I am almost home. And you are almost done learning about the super powerful aperture mode on your Sony a7C. Stick around to the end of the video where I show you the YouTube short, the TikTok, and the Instagram reel that I made using sunflowers and harness the power of aperture mode. Now that you know how to control your camera better in aperture mode, you got to find yourself a really cool sunflower patch and begin to experiment using your aperture. Remember to smash that like button, give it a thumbs up, it totally helps the algorithm, and subscribe below for more great content. My name is Oliver Wea, and I have taught you how to harness the power of aperture mode. Woohoo!